All right, we're back. I, uh, I think I have this rectified. I'm just curious why this is. Just moved. Uh, anyway, I think I have it rectified. So I went back to AutoZone and they didn't have the battery I needed in stock. And what happened was the guy, uh, and I take, obviously I take partial credit for, I take just as much credit for it, not even partial, but just as much credit for the buffoonery. Uh, basically he gave me a 34, 34 F, I believe a larger capacity battery. Um, and the terminal was, the terminals were on the opposite side, so my battery lead here, our connector, wasn't able to connect to it, and it's a good thing, because it's probably, it's definitely not the right battery for the car, but the computer said it was, and it was just a higher cool crank and amp, so I was like, oh, more juice. But there we go. And uh, a couple of telltale signs. This cover was not fitted properly. There's like so much play in it. Um, so that was a telltale sign. I even started saying that. I don't really like when people not, when, when uh, mechanics don't fit this stuff back together properly. Uh, and uh, there I was, willing to accept it myself. So we got the correct battery. Um, for some reason, these uh, just like the one in the Honda. For some reason, the labeling is backwards on it. Um, so that's just something that I'll have to take note of. This is a uh, 650 cold crank and amp. Uh, so it's just a Duralast regular one. It's not the platinum or gold or whatever they want to call it. The next one. And I uh, I returned the cores for both the this one and the next car that I was able to switch out. So that's there. Make sure I didn't break the scoop. And we'll just uh, like you see, I uh, this battery came with a a cover, a cap for the positive or the positive terminal. And I asked if they had an extra cap, so now I have a set of uh, two sets of these caps that I can uh, use, and I'll just throw it in my toolbox, actually. So, for this one, I'll just get these uh, hooks reinstalled. Or this battery hold down, that's what they call it. Uh, Trying to fish it in that little hole right there. There we go. Got that side, and this side should go in pretty easily. Has a lot more play in it. Come on, it's a little too soon. Maybe you just shift the battery and make some room. There we go. All right, got our ratchet, 10 millimeter here. Make sure we're going forward and not reverse. Get that snug down a little bit and then we'll snug this side a little bit and then we'll... And we'll just try to snug each side evenly. Like I was saying in the Honda video, you just want to make sure they're uh, they're at least snug a little bit. They don't have to be overly tight. You just don't want to have your battery sliding around in the in the process here. So I'm just trying to. For some reason, this plastic trim here doesn't want to fit as neat as I want it to. I think that should be fine though. Yeah, I know 
there it's gonna annoy me so might as well fix it now all right there we go just make sure it stays in place I'm somewhat of a perfectionist. Attention to detail matters to me. And this thing is not going anywhere. Hooks are in place where they should. I'm happy with the product. All right, uh, just in case someone as well is watching this video, different from uh, the previous videos I made, the one that I had the wrong battery and I was like just making random mistakes in itself but if these were connected these terminals were connected um, red to red and then black to the black so red is positive and black is ground the way you remember it like I said give this guy credit I don't know his name but he said his dad told him red is the first to the party and the last to leave that means um hooking this up right now i'm gonna put the red on first he's gonna be the first to to get some juice first to the party and then the black lead is gonna be the last if this was already installed the the memory aid is again red is first to the party and last to leave so if i was going to be disconnecting this it's already disconnected I would uh, disconnect the black one first and then the last guy to leave the party, you know, getting whatever left to whatever juices in this battery, you know, the red would be the last to get disconnected if that makes sense. So red is first to the party. Take our cap off. We'll uh, lift this guard right here. And this one actually fits better. Just make sure it's uh, fully seated. We'll just get it tightened down. In fact, I want to put those, uh, I forgot. Come on. These uh, little guards on it, I'm just reusing the ones I have. Pretty much a uh, corrosion inhibitor. And I pretty much want to not break it. Damn it. I'm honestly going to change out these, uh, these, uh, terminals on here, like this one. It does have a little bit of play in it. I don't really care for that. It's just they're not, they're not perfect. So they are original to the car. So. There's that, um, but also after taking them off and on and, you know, putting them on and off the car, they tend to get worn out. The best thing you can do is not break this thing right now. Just get it snugged up. And I can tell us this is not snug enough basically like stretching it away from where it needs to be so it should work though oh something I'll have to address and then the black has last of the party so and again I keep forgetting that stupid thing um, so once you connect these uh, disconnect your battery and you know reconnect if you have a car like this where you have a navigation system and a radio system that's going to lose a code hopefully you have that code if not you're going to have to get at some other means the dealership or something um, you might also have to reset your clock and obviously if you want to use your radio turn it on don't be like oh my radio is not working when it's just obviously turned off part off
All right. Yeah, this one fits nicely. Yeah, the ground fits way nicer than the positive does. Might just have to take take it off and straighten it out. Uh, kind of don't want to do that. Because I'm going to have to remove this again. Uh, man. Again, I'm not satisfied with the finished product but here's an example which one would you take off first all right it's first to the party last to leave so come on i'm gonna try to straighten out this this battery terminal using a set of pliers or something but this day has been a uh, longer than I thought doing this random stuff, but stuff that needed to be done anyway, but it's just, definitely not wake up thinking about doing this stuff. Um, so all I'm gonna do is uh, try to straighten this thing out a little bit, uh, see if I can get it to fit tighter. And then we'll just put our protective cap over here. Went and grabbed two pair of Nipex or just pliers in general just to manhandle this thing. Come on. I want to be uh, twisting. cause more damage than I than I need to here. I just need to get this thing to where it will crimp better. So hopefully this thing here, let's see. Yeah, I can tell that's gonna be a tighter fit. Right off the bat, I can tell. Looks like this nut is, uh, it's twisted. There's a little bit bent. You might have to persuade it to go in here. Come on. OK. 
Come on. There you go. Can I thread it in? Can I crimp it together before we just kind of screw it together and see if that makes a difference? Get our 10 mil nut on there. These can be troublesome. And if you remove it, you gotta, you know, get a new wire or recrimp some new leads on the ends or something. I mean, not the end of the world, not impossible, just more so annoying. That definitely Yeah. I mean it still has a little planet, but I'm not gonna force it, I'm not gonna wiggle it loose. to do lists yeah she'll do fine for a little bit and these these 10 millimeter nuts are starting to get rounded because this is always an, an, an awkward angle. And they do have, I do have a, a battery repair set with the pliers and stuff, but typically when you're doing this stuff, just kind of, you do with what you have. All right. So time to time to go in the car, crank this stuff and see what First of all, let's see if uh, she unlocks. Yep. Here, uh, relay is clicking. Put that down so we don't break it. And then we'll come back and reinstall the cover once I get done. But let's just try to crank this car. up here are the fuel pump man she sounds awesome not struggling to start I even had my no code jump pack in here and by the way I'm not sure if you saw this case it's just a side note but uh, this case is really handy. This thing wasn't even gonna jump my car on three bars this morning because the battery was so dead. Um, my radio is completely out to lunch. The clock is out to lunch. The nav system, I'll have to reinsert all that stuff. Um, I'll have to, you know, reinsert the code for my cassette player. I'm just kidding. One of the only cars with a cassette player, um, but yeah. This thing is uh is off to the races. I am happy with the finished product. Um, so I got. I'm glad I got new batteries. Again, I got a new uh, couple of sets of these. I was actually gonna pick them up on Amazon, but just for the cover and the battery terminals. But got myself two sets. Uh, picked up these um, emergency road flares just to throw in both of the cars. Great to have. I guarantee you, I 
guarantee you my wife will uh, look just as uh, intimidated as this lady trying to put, set these things out. Let's see. Look at her face, you know, concerned about oncoming traffic. That guy is changing a tire or something on the side. <coughs> so we're going to throw these in the car. I've actually never used them, so it's going to be something that I need to read up on, on how to use and not, you know, use it, not try to figure out how to use it when I'm in a sketchy situation. But roadside safety, very important. Um, I'd rather drive on the rim, get off the side of the road and even use this stuff. But if I have to, I'm gonna let someone know that I'm out there by deploying these. Uh, these are, it says uh, 15 minute runtime. Um, they want you to light the first flare then the second flare, um, just to give those people who are texting and driving, not paying attention, don't wanna, you know, move over a lane to give you some room and then obviously they're hot i don't know what the shelf life of these are uh, but imagine that after a couple of years you probably want to just uh use them as practice um especially if you have kids growing up um like teenagers you know show them all the devices you have in your car um Awesome ratchet, came in handy. And then there's one more thing. <laughs> Just because of my multiple trip to AutoZone here. Put this back on a tripod. Because of my multiple trip to AutoZone there with this battery shenanigan, I end up picking up a, <clears throat> an, a impulse buy item it was right there I actually went there before and I saw these I just didn't pick them up the first time I saw them let's see uh, supposedly supposedly assembled in the US with global components no name brand six in one uh, screwdriver I picked it up and I do like the feel of the handle that's kind of what sold me on it um, how good the handle feels So yeah, the handle feels really nice. I mean, I'm not short on screwdrivers, but this thing, uh, this th thing here, I was sold on the handle. Got a, like a number two and a flathead right there. Um, and a number three and a bigger one, so. And then you got a six point in here and a deeper. Uh, this is a number, this looks like a 10 and a, a eight. So that's how you get six. Uh, these two ends that you can use and then you can actually use these two ends. So. If I want to confirm it on this battery, it's definitely not a 10. It's probably a six and an eight. I don't know. But I was, uh, my impulse buy while I was there waiting in line to be served, um, had me pick this thing up. And you can, you're seeing it here first. Watch this. I was just wondering where, where this uh, assembled in the US thing went. Granted, I have some kind of battery goo on my hand, but watch this. Assembled in the US with global components nowhere to be seen. It literally rubbed off. Let's see if we can get this six and one to come off. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna rub out my uh, my fingerprint here. But yeah, 
the assembled and the let's see if this barcode will come off pretty sure it will but this assembled in the u.s with global components definitely came off anyway like me always say uh like on don't hear the thing. <laughs>